Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever walked into a grocery store, grabbed a few items, checked out, and then realized you forgot one of the items you actually went in there for? Well, we've all been there. But if you're an iPhone user, there's a simple trick that can make your shopping trips way more efficient. And it's built in right into your phone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Reminders app to set up a smart shopping list that automatically sorts out groceries by category. Plus a bonus trick that reminds you to pick up certain items when you're near a specific store. Let's get into it. So instead of using a paper list or worse, trying to remember everything in your head, let's set up a smart grocery list right inside your iPhone's Reminders app. Here's how. Open up the Reminders app on your iPhone, tap on add list here at the bottom, name your shopping list. Let's keep it simple and just name it groceries. Now let's tap on list type. And here's the important part. Switch it over to groceries. Now you can customize your list by choosing a color and even updating the emoji. I like the color green, so we're just going to go with green. And then maybe we'll go with this little basket right here. Once you've done your customizations, just tap on done. Now, anytime you add groceries to your list, your iPhone will automatically sort them out into categories like produce, dairy, snacks, and frozen foods. This makes it way easier to shop aisle by aisle without backtracking or forgetting anything. Now that the list is ready, just start adding items like you would for any other reminders. And the moment we start adding items, let's say like milk, it'll categorize them by section. Now let's add something like apples. See, and it'll put it in the produce section. Let's do limes. Again, produce section. Let's say steak. In the meat section. So as you can see, anytime you type in a new item, it will automatically categorize it for you. And when you're shopping, just tap to check off each item as you put it in your cart. Once you check the item, it will disappear from the list. Just like that. Simple, right? But now let's take it a step further. If there's any item you can only buy from a specific store or you only like from that store, your iPhone can remind you to pick it up whenever you're near the location. For example, let's say you always buy dog food from Dollar General. Here's how to set a location-based reminder. First up, tap on the item on your grocery list. Then tap on the eye icon to the right, then enable location. And here you can scroll over until you see custom. And then we can type in Dollar General and just choose the closest one to your location or the one that you get your items from. For your last step, just select the radius that you want around that store for your reminder. Now, every time you drive past the store, your iPhone will send you a reminder so you don't forget to grab that item. Now, if you don't want to retype your grocery list every time, there's two easy ways to reuse it. First, you can simply uncheck the completed items instead of adding them again. Just tap on the three little dots right up here and then tap on show complete. Then you can just uncheck the ones that you need. Or for an even faster option, you can save your list as a template so you don't have to recreate it every time. Once you have your list typed out, just tap on the three dots menu and then tap on save as template. You can rename it if you like, otherwise just tap on save. Next time you need a grocery list, just open your reminders app, tap on the three dots, and then go to templates. Here you can choose the list you created, just tap on it, rename it if you like. Generally, I just add the date to it. So 3, 14, and then just tap on create. This way you'll never have to start from scratch again. Just tap on the list you created and all your items will be there. And that's it. With this smart grocery list and location-based reminders, you'll never forget an item again. It keeps your shopping trips organized, efficient, and stress-free. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments and tell me what other iPhone tips you'd like to see next. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.